Americans use significantly more paper than citizens in other countries. If this U.S. family lived in England, for example, their paper use would be about 30% less. And if they lived in Mexico, paper use would be about 80% less. This is, this is only one building. Can you imagine when you go down the next one and all the other high-rise buildings? Huge. The ancient forest preserves and keeps the climate stable. The climate change is caused by forest destruction on a global scale. 80% of all ancient forests is already destroyed, so only 20% is left. And of this 20%, we are still losing every second second an area of the size of a soccer field. Big part of the forest destruction is caused by the paper industry. Paper making business is very resource intensive. Uh, we use a lot of minerals, we use a lot of fiber, comes out of trees. We use a tremendous amount of water. Only about one half of the paper we throw away is recycled. And when paper is taken to a landfill instead, it releases methane contributing to climate change. As soon as we introduced our newspaper recycling program, out on the train platforms, it was an immediate success. People immediately passed by the garbage bins, took their papers with them off the trains, and put them in these newspaper recycling bins. Every single day, we're recycling five tons of newspaper print. That's the weight of, of nearly four automobiles every single day. It makes a big difference if government sets the right policies. Government can require the products it purchases, paper for example, have a very high level of recycled content. Germany passed a packaging ordinance in 1991, which makes producers responsible for their packages. Right after the German law was passed, the secondary packages were dropped. For example, the box on the toothpaste tube. If you went to the supermarket, you would see the tubes on the shelves without the outer box. Honestly, if I were to spill something, I'd use a paper towel. Uh, I should probably change that, yeah. What are other ways you can reduce your paper waste? Sign up for services that reduce junk mail, pay bills online, and use double-sided printing when you print or copy. I don't necessarily seek out recycled products. I always buy paper in a rush, so I never pay attention. Consumers should realize that they really have a lot of power in determining what products are actually on the market. Every time a consumer picks a product with recycled content, they're casting a vote for the environment. Here's a choice that's offering a lot of good things for the environment. We have 100% recycled paper. It is acid-free, it's processed chlorine-free, and it has the FSC logo. I use recycled paper because I think it's very important. And Along with consumers, industry can promote sustainable choices. Magazine and book publishers can cast a vote for the environment by using more recycled paper and wood fiber certified by the Forest Stewardship Council. In the late 1990s, we began thinking of our business as being sustainable, about the environmental benefits of using recycled fiber and using renewable energy. And in the process of doing that, currently we're saving about a million and a half dollars a year, a portion of which we can use for other environmental initiatives. We need to look for other solutions. L1 is promoting a solution that fibers don't come from trees, but come from alternative plants. We need to see if it works technically, and we need to see if it really can be an alternative and a solution. But the main part has to come from recycling paper. We cannot use paper from ancient forests anymore. There is no need to make toilet paper out of wonderful hundred years old trees. Spread the word, save trees and reduce greenhouse emissions by recycling paper and by buying recycled paper products. And remember, just use less.